us. But first, we want to introduce you to the newest member of the Better Kansas City team, Bill Harlbrink. How are you doing? I am so excited to be here. I'm on fired up. I've been awake for about 10 hours now prepping <laughs> for this, so I'm excited to be here, ready to go. I hope you're ready to go with me, too. You need more caffeine. You know what? That's what we six, need to get him. Six cups of coffee is my limit. When I hit eight this morning, I was like, well... It's a little overboard, but it's a special day today. It's so special because, okay, you're a man about town. You're the new <laughs> traffic reporter for KCTV5. Just got done on the air, took the tie off, and I'm here. You're like um, Superman. Like oh, you changed in the phone booth? There was in the phone booth out there, but I, there was a live van over uh -huh. there, so I just kind of stepped enough. in there real fast. But you're not new to Kansas City. You're new here, but you're not new to Kansas City. You're like a homegrown guy. Yeah, so I was born and raised in Kansas City, Kansas. Got to give a shout-out to my old high school. Class of 1998, Sumner Academy Sabres, celebrating our 20-year reunion this year. P.S. Shoot me that invitation anytime, guys. Um, <laughs> and then I uh, went to school at Kansas State University mm -hmm. in, uh, in Manhattan, Kansas for four and a half years. Why the half? Well, let's be honest. I, I studied Aggieville quite uh -huh. a bit, which uh -huh. I think <laughs> a lot of you know, 18, 20 year old kids yeah. make that same mistake. But after studying <laughs> Aggieville, I did finally get what I call a football player degree uh -huh. because a lot of the football players were in my classes and we got a social science degree. Oh, nice. Which okay. I think, you know, hey, that lets you go do it, whatever you want, right? And here you are. And here I am. I wound up on TV, believe it or not. No, but I came came back here, got married. I live out in Piper, Western Wyandotte County with my wife and two kids. Um, so, and I'm a, I'm a little league. Yeah, there they are. Look at that. Okay, you have such a soft spot for your kids. Your wife and your kids are your world. Tell us about your wife and kids. So I met my wife uh, when I was working in radio of all places she was calling in to request a song are you kidding no i'm not joking and then you know you continue the conversation uh later on and then you go out to meet wait, wait, at a wait. bar in aggieville how do you places. get her no how do you go from i'm requesting a song to okay give me your phone number well obviously i'm a very sweet talking guy uh -huh. and uh you know she fell for it <laughs> <laughs> And she, luckily she hasn't been chased away yet, but then those are my, I got two kids, my four-year-old daughter, her name is Ellison, uh -huh. Ellison May, and then my nine-year-old son, you saw him there, we were at the football game at K-State, his name is Gavin, and he is a third grader at Piper Elementary. This is so cute. You even had some help from your daughter on your yeah. very first adventure for Better Kansas City. We've got some video of it. What are you guys doing there? So we are decorating cakes at Three Women and an Oven Bakery. Uh, one of the cool things that I'm getting to do with this job is, now of course I've grown up here in Kansas City, Kansas, mm -hmm. and I've got to experience a lot of great things on my side of town. However, I've never been to Three Women in an Oven before. I didn't know about them, but I got right. to go out and experience it, learn about it, and I got to bring Ellison along as well. And she is just a cutie pie, and she's doing a great job decorating those cupcakes. And those cupcakes lasted all of about 30 seconds once we got home. Oh, they were yeah. gone in a heartbeat. You brought them back, and we thought you showed us two, and we were like, oh, how cute. Your daughter made that. And you're like, no, that's the one I did. Yeah, exactly. My daughter <laughs> made the other one. <laughs> so I, it was so, already, after she made her first appearance, they said, well, Bill, she can do a better job than you. You don't need to be here anymore. Careful. Just bring her back every time. Careful. She might be standing here tomorrow. 